हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू गेकर मैट वाइल ट्रबल शूटिंग एक्टिवेशन एरर इन विंडोज इलेवन एंड विंडोज टेन पी सी इट इज पॉसिबल डेट यू रिसीव एन एर मेस डेट रीड्स द सॉफ्टवेयर लाइसेंसिंग सर्विस रिपोर्टेड डेट द कंप्यूटर कुड नॉट बी एक्टिवेटेड नो की मैनेजमेंट सर्विस के एम एस कुड बी कॉन्टेक्टेड प्लीज सी द एप्लीकेशन इवन लॉक फॉर द एडिशनल इन्फॉर्मेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर विद यू पॉसिबल सोल्यूशन डेट माइट फिक्स दिस एर But before we move forward, if you find this video useful in any way, please consider subscribing to the channel, as this encourages me in creating more similar videos. First of all, you need to make sure that time is correct on your device. Head over to date and time setting and check set time automatically is on, or time zone is correct. If it's wrong, make changes according to your region. After that, try to activate the Windows. If this method fails, try to perform SFC scan to repair corrupt files. I have already created a video on how to do that so check the link in the description. If this method also fails, open services app on your PC. Scroll down and locate Windows license manager service. Double click on it and set its startup type to automatic. After that click apply and okay and check if this fixes the issue. Another solution is to uninstall and reinstall the key but perform this solution only if you have the product key. For that launch command prompt with admin right. When USC dialog box appear click yes to continue. Here you need to execute this command that is slmgr.vbs space forward slash upk and hit enter. This will uninstall the product key. Next type slmgr.vbs space forward slash ipk space and enter the product key and hit enter. At last type slmgr.vbs space forward slash ato and hit enter. And you will receive a message that your edition is activated or similar message. If this also fails, check networking issues between KMS client and the KMS host server. In the browser, search what is my IP, then open this site and note the IP v4. Next, open Windows PowerShell with admin rights. When USC dialog box appear, click yes to continue. In the command window, you need to type this command test dash net connection space and then type your IP address space dash port space 1688 and hit enter. Wait for few minutes. After command is executed successfully, check TCP test succeeded value. If it comes false, then it means port 1688 is blocked between the KMS client and the KMS server. So try again later or contact Microsoft for further assistance. So these are the possible solution that helps in fixing the issue. If you are aware of any other solution that helps in fixing this issue, then feel free to share in the comments as this will help other affected users. So that's all about this video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe the channel to get notification about more similar videos. Thanks for watching.